Should you pay to skip the line in Disney's Animal Kingdom? I have Genie. And I don't. So we're gonna find out if you should pay for Genie Plus. And I don't. <laughs> And I and don't. I, and I really do. I'm trying to find the right motivation here. And I don't. <laughs> that was it. That's the one. That's the one we got to take. Jumbo, everyone. Uh, good morning from the Animal Kingdom. Uh, I am here for rope drop because I do not have genie today in our genie versus no genie experiment. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident, especially because uh, I'm on time. Uh, but I am here uh, at 7.40. Uh, which is 20 minutes before rope drop. The park opens at 8 o'clock. Uh, for those of you who don't know what rope drop is, if you're new to the channel, rope drop is basically where uh, it's, it's park opening. Back in the day, they used, uh, cast members used to hold out a rope, uh, and when it was time for the park to open, they would drop the rope physically, and guess would step over, uh, step over it to signify that the park is now open. So it's, we still call it rope drop. And as you can see, people are already lined up, waiting for... Uh, the uh, park to open. Now, uh, resort guests did have access to the park at 7.30 uh, before early entry. If you were staying at a Walt Disney World Resort, you do get early entry, which is basically access to uh, the park 30 minutes uh, earlier than normal park guests. And they're off. So because we don't have Genie, uh, and the goal is to get the, the our list of rides done as quickly as possible, we really have no choice but to rope drop Flight of Passage. Now typically if you're using Genie uh, or using Individual Lightning Lane, I always recommend rope dropping uh, Navi River Journey because that's going to have a pretty long wait time. But because we don't have access to that, uh, the longest wait time is definitely going to be Flight of Passage. So we're going to hit that first. Now having a great rope drop strategy is typically a great way to ride your must-do attractions. The popular attractions are going to have really long wait times throughout the day, but uh, doing them right away, right at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, it's probably going to be the times that the most popular rides are going to have the lowest wait. Avatar Flight of Passage end of line is there. Interesting. I think they're just preempt preemptively hoping for that, yeah? Because of early entry, the line to uh, Flight of Passage is already going to be intensely long. So here goes nothing. All right, so not as bad as I thought. Uh, we are still, like, we're not even in the queue. Last time I did this, we were all the way in Africa. Right now at this point, I'm thinking maybe we're at a 45 minutes to an hour. All right, we are officially inside and it's only been 20 minutes so far, so not bad. We're, uh, we're going through this uh, definitely quickly, but I still think we've got kind of a wait. I think it's gonna be still around 50 minutes or so. We made it to the laboratory and it is a little over 65 minutes. All right, good morning. I am headed to Animal Kingdom a little later than Sage because I had to go to the dentist. And I'll be honest, I thought the numbing stuff was gonna wear off, but it hasn't. So that's what I'm dealing with. But um, we've got Genie today. Uh, we are starting off in Pandora where I have an individual lightning lane for a flight of passage and a Genie Plus lightning lane for Navi River Journey. So let's go knock out two of the biggest rides in the park right off the bat with little to no wait. Thanks, Genie. Genie Plus, of course, is Disney's Skip the Line service. If you haven't been here in a while, you might think of it as Fast Pass, except it does cost money. So Genie does cost a date based price and a park based price. So depending on what day you come, what parks you're going to, you'll pay a different amount for Genie. But what it allows you to do is book lightning lanes at many, many, many attractions around the theme parks. These lightning lanes let you skip the standby line. You can book new ones after you've either used one or after a two hour cool down. So sounds complicated, but it's not too bad once you get your hands on it. This morning at 7 a.m., which is when you can book your first lightning lane, I woke up and I booked Navi River Journey. That is 100% the lightning lane I recommend booking first in this park, as it does tend to book up the fastest. Now, not all Skip the Line offerings are available with Genie Plus. There are also individual lightning lanes. These are the most popular rides in the parks. Some parks have one ILL option, some parks have two. Here in Animal Kingdom, the only individual lightning lane is Avatar Flight of Passage. Very popular, tends to have over an hour wait all the time. 
So a great one to do a little splurge on. Individual Lightning Lane prices do vary by date as well, but you can typically expect to see Flight of Passage for about $16, which is what it was today. Now, I wasn't able to book my individual Lightning Lane right at 7 a.m. because I am not a resort guest, but if you are a resort guest, you'll book everything for Genie and your individual Lightning Lane right at that 7 a.m. time. If you are not a resort guest, you can book your individual Lightning Lane at Park Open. So today for Animal Kingdom, that was 8 a.m. was when I was able to book my individual Lightning Lane. Unlike with Genie Plus, you are not booking first available. You are instead booking what time you want. So you can book for any time of the day. With Genie Plus and with individual Lightning Lanes, you do want to move rather quickly. You want to start booking at exactly the time that you are able. So if that's 7 a.m., then I mean 7 a.m. exactly. And if that's park open, then I mean park open exactly. These things can and will go fast. So it's always a good idea to just go ahead and knock out your booking right when you can. Right now, individual lightning lanes for Flight of Passage are already gone. Navi River Journey is a slow moving boat ride through the Valley of Moara, aka Pandora. It is a really nice scenic attraction, but not a lot happens in it. One of the most exciting things is there's one of the most impressive animatronics in Disney World with the Shaman of Song. So we're gonna scan into our lightning lane. There we go. To scan into a lightning lane, you just use your park ticket media. For me, that's on my phone, but you might have a park ticket card or you might have it on your magic bands. Any of those will work to scan into a lightning lane. Earlier, there was an announcement that was like, uh, hey, we're operating at less capacity, which just means that uh, likely one of the simulation rooms is down for some reason. Definitely gonna be longer than anticipated, which is a bummer for my strategy, but uh, is what it is. posted wait was 70 minutes i waited actually seven so we've already saved over an hour of time with our genie plus purchase today all right we're done we waited uh, approximately 75 minutes from the start of the line to the time we got to uh the pre-show room that's when they uh that's where disney technically stops the uh, posted wait time that's where the that's where the count stops i always think getting the individual lightning lane is the best way to uh, to experience this attraction uh, 75 minutes is definitely about right. I have made it here to Avatar Flight of Passage. It has a posted 75 minute wait, but let's head on in and line it. We have that individual lightning lane, so you should be able to stroll right in. More than likely what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in Pandora and ride uh, Navi River Journey. It is currently 940, oh my gosh. Yeah, this tracks 45 minutes for uh, Navi River Journey. Um, but we don't have Genie Plus, so this is what we're doing. And this will probably be the shortest we see it today, so let's make it happen. Okay, they've officially split us off. That's where the clock stops, and it's only been 20 minutes. So that makes a sage very happy. Flight of Passage, a delight as usual. Uh, the first time I ever rode that ride, it made me cry. And I stand by that because it's a really good ride. But that's Pandora, all done. And we've been here less than an hour knocking out lightning lanes. Now, here's where we've got a little bit of a kicker. So the earliest available lightning lane for meeting Mickey and Minnie was 12, 10 p.m. It's not even 12 yet, so we've got a little bit of time to wait for that. This park, unlike Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, is not that tricky to use Genie Plus in. In most cases, as long as you get that Navi River Journey lightning lane first, you will not have to wait more than an hour for the next available lightning lane window to open. So when I looked, everything was sometime either right past 12 or before 12. And basically I could walk over and use that lightning lane immediately. That's what's amazing about Genie Plus and Animal Kingdom is it isn't stressful. You can just pick and choose like, oh, I'd like to ride Kilimanjaro Safaris right now. Let me see if there's a lightning lane. There probably is. My face is starting to get enough feeling that I think I can have a coffee. <laughs> so I don't know what Sage is doing on his ride journey, but maybe we can take a little coffee break. 
as soon as I scanned through the second queue on Navi River Journey, I was able to book my next lightning lane. Now we are not going for every lightning lane in the park today. If you do want to see me do that, I just did it on a very busy day. You can see it on the channel right now with our uh, Genie 101 and Animal Kingdom video. Um, and I, I did every single lightning lane one day. You can see what the best strategy for maximizing Genie Plus is, really getting your money's worth. But today, we're just doing an experiment. We've got five rides we have to ride and we're just seeing how the experience goes for Sage and how it goes for me, me with Jeannie, him not. So it's just more of an experiment vibe, so I don't have to go rush to get my next lightning lane. I did want to go ahead and grab Expedition Everest. It's on our list and that lightning lane is already up till 12.50. Did you think there was going to be a side plot in this video where we found out if my mouth is retained enough feeling after the dentist to be able to drink this coffee? If you had that on your bingo card when you clicked on this video, let me know in the comments. And whether you did or not, cheers, coffee time together. Well, Sage waits in lines, I guess. Okay, the other thing we're doing here is we are going to attempt to modify our Everest lightning lane. So there is an option. If you ever need to change your lightning lane, you just go to your tip board page. You scroll to where your lightning lane is. So here we've got my Everest one. Everest has a 65 minute wait right now. That is wild. And we're gonna hit modify plan. Now when we go to modify the experience, we have got all these different experiences we can modify to here in Animal Kingdom. Um, you can't modify to a different park, so if you do want to get a lightning lane at a different park, you'll need to cancel the one you have and then rebook. But I want to modify uh, Expedition Everest to an earlier time. Now only the first available is what's available. So right now it says 12.50 to 1.50, and I could get a 1.15, but that's later than my 12.50. So we're just gonna see by going back and forth, by hitting change this time and going back and forth, if we can get a better time than 12.50, since that's still 40 minutes from now. So I'll just be here refreshing this page. And if a better time pops up, I'll just be able to modify my lightning lane to it. And just like that, Pandora is done. We're gonna move on to Africa because uh, we've got to make the most uh, of the time that we have this morning before we start to hit those peak midday crowds. So we're gonna go to Kilimanjaro Safari, which is over in Africa. Uh, I just checked the My Disney Experience app and it says it's a 50 minute wait. But you know what's really interesting and it almost irritates me a little bit? Lately on uh, Navi River Journey, and there was a 20 minute wait. Up until, I wanna say maybe a month and a half ago, if I was a single rider, I got the road to myself. The boats, they're not huge. Um, and every time I was a single rider, I got one row to myself. And now, every time I have been on Navi River Journey, and we're doing one of these challenges, and I'm by myself, they sit me in a row with two other people. And listen, I have no issue. I know I'm a single rider, and I know, it's, you know, we would ride ever you know we ride uh, uh, expedition everest you've got to sit with other people i have the being with other people is not the issue it's the size of the boat that's the issue i am a 6263 guy and my legs are long and it's not a huge boat so now we're just kind of squeezing together with strangers which is not ideal so i wonder why that changed all of a sudden it's not a crazy busy day it's we just left peak season. Why are we all squeezing together now? Anyway, if you're on a solo trip, if you're on a, or if you're a single rider and you're used to having a row all by yourself uh, on Navi River Journey, uh, those are times of the past, I think. At least for now, anyway. All right, luckily I did have some luck with uh, modifying. Not a ton of luck. We didn't get that much earlier. We got it from 12.50 to 12.45, but hey, you get to scan into the lightning lane five minutes early, so that minute was really only like 20-ish, 25-ish minutes from my lightning lane. And that time has come, because with the power of movie magic, you don't have to wait like I do, which is great. But even with the wait, 25 minutes was not that bad to sit and enjoy the sights and sounds of Animal Kingdom, not stand in a line and drink my coffee. Now, Expedition Everest has a very long line today. It was 65 minutes when I started walking over here. It's 55 minutes now. It is super busy around here. This attraction can sometimes have a much shorter line, but not today. Now, the good news is there's a single rider line, so if you're able and willing to split up, that can be a great option. Um, it often is pretty much a walk-on, but we are, of course, headed to the lightning lane. It's time for us to scan in. 
So let's head into Kilimanjaro Safari. Standby still says 50 minutes. Kilimanjaro Safari is an actual safari through a man-made savanna, basically. Uh, it's the largest section of Animal Kingdom, which is very cool. Now, even though this is probably not the most popular ride compared to Flight of Passage, I would call this Animal Kingdom's signature ride because this is what Animal Kingdom's all about. Uh, seeing, you know, exploring wildlife and the natural habitat, learning more about it, about conservation, how, you know, how they act with each other, the circle of life, all that jazz. Thank you. Now, you do skip a good bit of the Everest queue going through the Lightning Lane, and the Everest queue does have great theming, uh, but you'll still see some good portions of it. I'll just say in general, Genie Plus is something that you don't fully need in Animal Kingdom. What I would recommend doing is buying the individual Lightning Lane for Flight of Passage and then using that early morning time to ride everything as quickly as possible, and you'll be able to get on pretty much everything with a low weight. Uh, still, it can be really helpful if you are park hopping uh, to know how to use Genie Plus in this park because Genie Plus on a park hopping day can be a major help. Um, and also if you just don't want to have to rush through all your rides in the morning and instead want to take it easy and ride things at your leisure, Genie Plus can help you do that. All right, we've been split and we're going left because we're choosing to. And it's only been 30 minutes, so uh, definitely better than 50. And what's wild, I've actually never heard this announcement in the queue before. They actually said that they, there would be a delayed wait because uh, there were animals blocking the path for the safari. Now this does make sense because it is a cooler day and animals are typically more active when it's uh, cooler out, which is pretty awesome. And we definitely looked out again because we are going to be on the left side. And if you're looking for a side, whether the left or the right, that's going to be more active. Uh, more, definitely more things happen on the left side. It is. A lot of the animal experiences will actually close an hour to an hour and a half uh, before park closing. So, so if those animal experiences are important to you, make sure to check your uh, Disney experience app to see when those animal experiences are actually closing, because uh, I would hate for you to miss it. a week at least and we've we've got to cut this out it's not good for me but still Everest was fun despite the fact that I feel a little grumbly rumbly now but it's fine um, we are now headed to our next lightning lane so as soon as I scanned in at Everest I was able to go ahead and book my next lightning lane the two rides we have left to knock out are Kilimanjaro safaris and dinosaur so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm starting with Kilimanjaro Safaris just because this one takes a little longer, the ride itself. Um, but lightning lanes were available for 1 p.m. It's 12.56. So went ahead and booked a new lightning lane for that. And now we're headed over to just walk right on Kilimanjaro Safaris. That was wild. They, they had a lot of active animals. I mean, the lion alone, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, but the one thing I could not get my phone out quick enough to film, or even my DJI out quick enough to film, it, it was it was a calm and just relaxing day on the savanna, and then out of this, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this giraffe just starts running, and then whacks one of the I don't I don't know what animal they are. Uh, Quincy would know. They're they're the ones with the giant horns, something cattle, just whacks it with its neck and its head, and I was like, <gasps> and like well, someone's feeling a little sassy today, and I was like that wasn't sassy, that was aggressive. 
So actually at the time of filming, Cali River Rapids is closed for refurbishment. Stick with us on ollies.net, that way uh, you can find out when it's going to reopen. I was hoping to make better time uh, than I currently am, and we've been waiting in, so, in some lines today for sure. But for now, Expedition Everest. Currently a uh, 55 minute wait, and we are going to wait in the single rider entrance. Why? Because we are by ourselves. And surprisingly, the single rider uh, entrance does have a little bit of a line. All right, we've arrived at Kilimanjaro Safaris. There's a posted 25 minute wait for this one right now. Um, we have lightning lanes. We're just gonna stroll right up. Now, you might see lightning lanes get backed up or a lot of people be crowded around. Now, don't necessarily assume that that means there's gonna be a lot of folks in the lightning lane. Sometimes people just get backed up trying to scan their cards, like me right now. Hello. I know, I know, I'm sorry, don't get it. All right, I'll try this one. Hello. There we go. Sometimes people just get backed up scanning their cards and that can make it take a little longer right at the front of the lightning lane. And then once you get into the lightning lane, there's like, it moves like nobody's business. So don't always think that just because you see a long lightning lane, it's actually backed up. It could just be backed up right at the front. And now that we are in line, we've scanned in, we can go ahead and book our lightning lane for Dinosaur. There is a 1.10 PM one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that so that we can head right over there as soon as we're off of Kilimanjaro Safaris. Note to self, when it is a brisk day, I'm talking like 50s, but there's no sun, so, there's, there's no chance of warmth and you go on a outdoor roller coaster it's like a stinging punch adrenaline rush to the face all we have left is Dinoland USA we're not really do, we're not doing any demean greets any of the shows this is just testing out Genie Plus with rides here now Genie Plus is available for other um, experiences here and at Animal Kingdom like the shows Finding Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond Festival of the Lion King. Now, I don't think you typically need Genie Plus for the shows, uh, as long as you are showing up in advance with enough time. Uh, specifically, we say uh, at least 30 minutes beforehand if you want to get a good seat. But meeting Minnie and Mickey uh, here at uh, Animal Kingdom, that line can get pretty lengthy. I say the average wait time for that is around 45 minutes. So if you want to meet Mickey and Minnie here at Animal Kingdom, and you don't want to wait 45 minutes. I mean, Genie Plus might be your only option. We made it to Dinoland USA, and uh, no one knows how long this land is actually gonna be around. Recently it was announced that Dinoland USA could be going away to make way for uh, new experiences like an Encanto area, uh, an Indiana Jones area. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but what we do know Dinoland USA is going away which is a huge bummer. Specifically, I love the dinosaur attraction and I do love the nostalgia of Dinoland USA. Not specifically the carnival part, but just the other areas like the uh, the bone yard. That used to be like a, such a fun thing to do. But there are definitely some mixed feelings with Dinoland USA going away. But first we're gonna hop on Triceratops Spin, which is a Dumbo style attraction. That's where you hop on the back of a Triceratops and you fly because dinosaurs fly. Well, yes, I know I know like pterodactyls fly. Other thing. I just mean like Triceratops tops they also fly just now you know Kilimanjaro check that 25 minute posted wait was only five minutes for Jeannie so saved us about 20 minutes there 25 minutes is not that bad often a 25 minute wait will be about a 15 minute wait in the parks um, I pretty much will wait for anything if it's in the 20 25 minute range but uh, it's always nice to save a little time and especially because we've already saved uh, oh like over two hours just on the rides that we're doing today. And I think we'll probably save about a little under two and a half hours total, which isn't too shabby. Uh, it's nice to be able to spend that time exploring other aspects of the park that might not be ride queues. Of course, if you are trying to prioritize saving, you absolutely don't need Genie Plus in this park. We're only saving a few hours to ride all of the most popular rides in this park. You do not need Genie Plus to catch the shows. It's just the kind of thing to decide how you want to do the park. Would you rather be able to just kind of idly head to what you want to ride right then without waiting in line and do a bunch of stuff like explore the animal trails? Or would you rather 
save your money and wham, bam, bam the park right in the morning, that's a great strategy too. So I'm headed now across the entire park to Dinosaur. I didn't really think this through, but I'm headed across the entire park to Dinosaur for our final lightning lane of the day. All right, we've arrived at Dinosaur. This is one of my favorite rides in Disney World because I think it is truly thrilling. Uh, you go back in time to right before the asteroid or meteor hits, whichever one it is, meteor, I think. Um, and you are trying to save a specific dinosaur for Dr. Grant Seeker. It does have dark places and scary dinosaurs. This much is true, um, but it's super fun. I just really do warn you to take that warning sign seriously. I have heard way too many kiddos hop on this ride and get <laughs> be screaming crying because they don't realize how scary it's gonna be um, this is a scary attraction even for adults I have a lot of adult friends who don't like to ride it so something to be aware of Um, that was a one minute wait, and that means literally one minute to walk into the pre-show. Probably less, honestly. Um, just so brief with Jeannie. I really only saved like a little bit of time because it was only a 20 minute wait, but again, we're saving a good total today, which is what matters. Not to mention the amount of time we saved with that individual lightning lane earlier. So, I think that does it. I think I can meet back up with Sage. In the words of Dr. Grant Seeker, I better find him before security does. Okay, one more attraction. We're going to Dinosaur. Uh, don't forget to look around the queue when you first enter uh, the building. It, it is a real dinosaur museum. Uh, many of the fossils in there are 100% real. Uh, they were donated by different foundations. So they're, they're real fossils. So it's, it's a real, you're entering a real dinosaur museum, which is super cool. Now regarding the potential, uh, you know, extinction uh, of, you know, Dinoland USA and dinosaur. Dinosaur has the exact same uh, track layout and ride system of Indiana Jones, which is for over in Disneyland, which is why there's the potential possible just complete overlay of Indiana Jones right over dinosaur. So see what happens, but let's go find Quincy. Hey. Hey. How was your day? Uh, long. I waited in a lot of lines. I waited in no line. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> uh, uh, I will say that I think the perfect way to spend uh, the day is a combination of both. I think getting uh, an ILL, individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage is the way to go, but for the rest of the rides, um, I oh, think you strategy. can make it work if you've got a good rope strategy. <laughs> got a, a good, good rope, rope strategy. strategy. <laughs> if you've got a good rope drop strategy and some uh, some uh, other strategies throughout the day, I think it'll be just fine. Totally agree. I think um, for me, I maybe waited in no lines, but you know what I did do? Spend a lot of money. But I could have spent about half that money if I had just bought Flight of Passage and had a similarly great day. Yeah. So middle line between what we did today, that's the right answer for Animal Kingdom. And if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, now go watch uh, us do this exact same experiment in Hollywood Studios. We'll see you there. Bye.